everyone, this is Erica. I wanted to make a video today and offer you an art therapy challenge, um, something that you can do at home with really simple supplies, especially to help you during these crazy times that we're living in. I know that the past couple weeks have not been easy for me at all. It's been really taking a toll on my mental health and I've been feeling a whole roller coaster of emotions um, throughout this experience, feeling a lot of anxiety one moment and then feeling like everything will be okay the next and then feeling a really deep sense of loneliness and then feeling like a lot of love and connection the next day. It's just really confusing and it's hard for me to be grounded and stable throughout this whole time. And as always, I've been using art a lot to help me express myself, to help me release the emotions and feelings and most importantly, to give myself permission to be honest about how I'm actually feeling. And so I really want to create this um, directive for you so that you could try this at home. And I really wanna emphasize as well is that you do not have to be an artist to benefit from this exercise. It is for everyone. Um, it's not about making a piece of art that you're gonna be showing a lot of people or be hanging on the wall or put in a gallery, it's not about perfection, it is just about expressing yourself. I really wanted to make that point because I think that's a big thing about art therapy is that people think they have to be an artist to benefit and you do not have to be. Um, so what you're gonna need are just really simple supplies that you have at home. You're going to need um, one piece of paper, which you can cut in half or two pieces of paper, depending on how big you want them. I made mine a little bit smaller, but it's completely up to you. You're also going to need some sort of drawing material. So whether it may be a pen or maybe some felt markers or a pencil, anything of that nature. And then if you have it, it would be really nice if you also had some coloring materials. So you could use um, some pencil crayons. Um, you could use some watercolor paints. And um, what I use is oil pastels. I love oil pastels because I just love the way of how they move across the paper and the vibrancy of the colors. But as I said, you can use whatever you have at home. Um, you don't have to have like all of these supplies. You just need a couple things. And so this whole directive, um, I was thinking a lot about these two opposing and contrasting feelings and emotions that we that I've been experiencing that I also know a lot of other people I know that have been experiencing as well and it's the idea of feeling alone but also really connected right so on the first piece of paper um, what I want you to do is write the word isolated in the center of the page and then I want you to think about what kind of colors are coming up when you think about being isolated. What kind of shapes, what kind of lines, what kind of images come through and you're just going to take your drawing material and start drawing on that piece of paper, whatever wants to come through. And as again, don't judge what's coming out. Whatever is coming out is meant to come out. Um, you don't have to make this perfect drawing or anything like that. Just let your hand and your body guide you. So you want to fill the page with all your marks and all the colors that really represent the word isolated to you. And so I did mine, I can show you my example. Um, this is what mine looks like. And so for me, a lot of darker colors came through. There's the gray and also a lot of black and also around the border is a lot of scribbling. And what I realized afterwards is the scribbling is that when I think about the times I felt isolated, there was a lot of frustration in me and so that came out through the scribbles and then this little dot right here kind of symbolizes the aloneness that i felt yeah so this one is mine so when you are done that piece <clears throat> i want you to take your other piece of paper and you're going to write the word connected on there and once again you're going to think about all the colors all the marks all the images that come through during this time and you're gonna take your drawing material and you're just gonna start drawing again. And for me, this is what it looks like. 
So when I thought about the word connected, a lot of colors came through, the infinity symbol came through and had a lot of lines as well. And what that represented to me afterwards is, is the lines of connection that I've, that I've had throughout this experience, you know, with all the calls and, and the text messages, um, that kind of what it felt like it represented to me. So now that we have finished both, we have this really neat visual of these two opposing feelings and emotions um, that is happening for us. And it's a great visual reminder of what's, ha what's happening inside. And it's a great way for us to release, you know, these feelings as well. If we don't get them out on paper, they get stuck. They get stuck inside our body and roaming around in our minds and everything. And so it's just good to get these out. And also it's just a way to get to know yourself more to gain some self-awareness throughout this process and to see yourself in a different light, to express yourself in a way that maybe you've never expressed yourself before. So this is a really simple exercise and it may take you 15 minutes or it may take you an hour. There is no time limit or anything. You can take it as far as you like um, or as quick as you like, but I just hope that you try this and I really hope that this helps you in some way or another I really, truly, truly believe in the power of, of creating and making art during this time. And so I wanted to offer this challenge to you and I would love, love, love it if you would share it with me as well. So if you wanna post it on social media, on Instagram, on your stories and your posts or even Facebook, or if you just wanna send me an email or message and show me, or even not if you don't want to, but I would love to see the results. And my favorite part about this type of exercise is seeing the differences in what everyone creates. Um, it's, it's really interesting. So I hope this helps you and I hope you remember that you're not in this alone. You're not alone in feeling alone. <laughs> you're not alone in feeling anxious. You're not alone in any of those things. I feel it too, we all feel it. And I am here if you need anything, and I really hope to see you all soon in person.